Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for August 21st of 2024 is titled Fermi's 12-Year All-Sky Gamma Ray Map. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image of the sky, the entire sky wrapped out into this uh, picture here. And this is what the sky would look like were your eyes sensitive to gamma rays. So if you could see the universe in gamma rays instead of visible light, this is what you would see. Now gamma rays are just like visible light. They are electromagnetic radiation. The only th difference between them and the ordinary little light that we see is the amount of energy and the shorter wavelength. So they have a shorter wavelength and therefore a much higher energy. But other than that, they behave exactly the same as any other electromagnetic wave. Now the Fermi satellite has been observing these and this is 12 years worth of data looking at all the different gamma ray sources. The darker the image here, the lower the gamma ray emission and the lighter the image, the higher the gamma ray emission. So we see a couple of things here. First of all, we see that line going across the middle. That is the plane of our galaxy. So our galaxy would have a lot of gamma ray sources in it and therefore looks very bright. It's also a lot closer. Now we also see a lot of individual dots scattered around that are brighter the black background but we see some that are very strong gamma ray sources. Those are distant galaxies that are scattered around and those would be ones that are emitting significant amounts of gamma rays so very energetic galaxies and we can see that they are scattered pretty much uniformly over the entire sky. Now there are also some of those dots within our Milky Way galaxy. Those instead of distant galaxies are actually more nearby objects, pulsars, that will also emit gamma rays when they are highly energetic. So some of those closer to the plane of the galaxy would be uh, pulsars. So we see different types of galaxies, different types of pulsars. Plus we see kind of a whole area that just permeates the entire sky. That blue color is really just just the background glow essentially of gamma rays from all these different sources that are too hard to image individually. They're just too faint so we see it as a glow. Much as when you go out and look at the Milky Way we don't see all the individual stars when we look at that with our eyes. We see it as a milky glow stretching across the sky because of all the combined light of those stars. Well here we have the same thing in gamma rays. That's that bluish glow that we see scattered around the entire sky. Now there are also some that are unidentified and things that we still don't know about. There's a lot in this universe that we still do not understand. So current research is ongoing to try to better understand some of these distant gamma ray sources. So that was our picture of the day for August 21st of 2024. It was titled Fermi's 12 year all sky gamma ray map. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.